They say that great teachers are made by the teacher next door. That's what a wonderful yeah. principal <laughs> that taught me a long time ago. And so she said, you're not very good. You're going to get better. And uh, in the very first year, I had a cart. Uh, honestly, first year teaching, I had a cart, and I put the stuff on the cart, and I moved from room to room to room. I got a chance to see 27 teachers teach at their best, because that, that's what see? teachers do. Sometimes we put them in, in the room and, and shut the door and never get to see them just be excellent. Yeah. And uh, oh, as, a, as nice. a brand new teacher, I got to see 27 amazing teachers. Unfortunately, it didn't rub off on me, but I got to see Very it. Very funny. So that's uh, But that's you teach a science works. every Very day. Cool. I, I feel lucky. I feel like there's a minimal probability of you lighting <laughs> me on fire today. Well, look at this, and your suit's not going to get a hold of me. Uh, right. You're going to be fine that way. Right. Hey, I thought it would be kind of fun. You know, so much of the time we're blowing things up and right. fire and whatever else. This is just one of those really cool things that happens. It takes a couple of hours. You wake up in the morning and you go, my gosh, look at the Christmas tree ornament that we produce. Look at that. Isn't that just I absolutely gorgeous? All sparkly yeah. and All wintry. All sparkly and wintry and pretty. Really, really easy. And it teaches you a little quick little lesson in crystals as well. Okay. So here's what we uh, started with. You kind of start the solution. So I'm going to use some of the hot water if you don't mind. Go the hot it. water goes in here. You can make it any container you want. I want it just a little bit bigger so that um, the, the crystals won't touch the sides. Okay. okay. All right. And then we're using borax, so excuse the reach. Borax. So uh, you mule team borax. Science teachers seem to use a tremendous amount of borax. <laughs> we make slime with it and goo and, and all those other things. You're going to want to make a saturated solution. So this is not going to be, uh, I mean, it would spend some more time with it, but you're going to stir it around, let it dissolve. The reason okay. we use the warm water is we want to open up the space between those molecules a little bit more and stick more in. So when it starts to cool, it'll crystallize and come out of solution. Harden around whatever so you, you stick it. in there. So here we go. We're going to get that going in there. And then you can add whatever food coloring you want to it. Color Let's it just up. say that we're going to color it up like this. And so now it's time to be able to make the next part. And that uses those pipe cleaners that are there. What do they call them now? Chanel sticks or I know. Like that. I know. Pipe cleaner, yeah. people. Kind of do whatever you want here. So look at what you can do. But you can Ooh. make some pretty cool things. Yours is very nice. Very, yeah. very nice. So what you do now is that you take and you're going to wrap this around a popsicle stick like this. I have okay. one done. And you do have one done. Very, very nice. And uh, I think you're just asking for extra credit. That's what you're doing. That's you're just, exactly right. That's you didn't it. know that about it, me? No, not at oh, all. Okay. And so now that goes oh, down inside. So you there. see this? So you stick it down inside. Oh, wow. That, okay, the and color so goes that's on That's just the color on quick. And now you let it sit there. And as it cools, now the crystals start to crystallize on this. Watch what happens. Go ahead, pull that one out. Take a How look at that one that there. How long does that take, typically? Maybe three, four hours. And okay. maybe, but overnight. Put it back in again. Take a look at it. Back out again. You get some of these most beautiful crystals. So under a magnifying glass, of course, they're gorgeous. But they catch the light. Light and as they twist, and actually, it's not rubbing off like as, you as much as yeah, <laughs> you I would have thought. thought as some yeah. of the actual like store bought yeah. ornaments. I, I was have. just waiting for you to <laughs> say to me, "Is this dangerous?" And I'd say, "No, the burning sensation will go away in a couple of weeks." Oh, we just fine. Fortunately, yeah, it's fine. But isn't that beautiful? A great way to uh, to build the crystals and to kind of grow the crystals. Mm, you can do it last minute, that. throw it up on the, the tree, best. and easy Honestly, to do. Honestly, these homemade yeah. ornaments mean the most. Kind of Good fun, memories. Isn't, yeah. yeah, all for the boys. Hey, we put so much this year on the on the website, and so. A lot of parents are searching for science fair. They can go to the Nine News uh, website and take a look at all of our science experiments and uh, see all those resources. So, so it, don't do worry. Do yourself a favor. Don't Over worry. Over winter break, yes. plan for science fair. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> look right into my eyes. Do not make science fair one of those things where kids are crying, right? We want this to be a great experience. No, it's supposed to be fun. It's easy to yep. do. And uh, we'll show you how to turn a regular experiment into something that they can really learn. My super basic question, if yes. I don't put food coloring in, will it come out Snow White? Yes, it will. Okay. Look at you. Nice. You're like a little go. science guy. Okay. You should have your own show. There you are. All right. <laughs> I right. think I'll leave it to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Find it all on Facebook and online. Thank you, Steve. As always, that one's pretty. It is pretty. Hot it's going to be great. Woo. Nice. We'll be right back.